Have you ever wondered where a katydid gets its name? In this video, we're going after the true katydid, and we're going to find out how this crazy looking insect got its name. My backyard is full of incredible animals. And while typically I'm out by the creek hunting amphibians or spiders, I always welcome a surprise encounter with arboreal creatures. Searching for creatures that live high in the trees proves to be extra challenging, which makes the hunt all the more fun. And today, we're after the true katydid. Just as cicadas fill up the air with their songs during the day, the true katydid is the star singer of the nighttime chorus. I have got one heck of a challenge set before me today because the best way to find one of these katydids is after dark. The katydid relies on its incredible camouflage for survival. When looking for a master of hide and seek, sometimes it helps to have a strategy that doesn't rely on vision. All types of katydids have characteristic songs that the males will produce during the dark hours of night, and identifying a tree that's producing one of these calls can help me greatly on my search. After dark, my vision is reduced anyway, and these guys are incredibly hard to spot, even in broad daylight. So my only chance of finding a true katydid is to identify a bush that seems to be housing one. The darkness hides other creatures as well. After dark during the summertime, copperheads will begin to hunt. So I'm gonna need to be extra careful where I'm stepping to ensure I don't take a venomous bite. When you're out exploring after dark, you might also come across things like harvestmen and even a rogue centipede prowling around looking for food. I'm using my ears and my phone flashlight as my main tools for searching in this dark environment. And I think I may have found a tree that is host to our target insect. All right, I want you to hear this. This is a nice sized bush by my house. You hear that? That's a katydid. I can hear the katydid, but I think he's too high in the tree for me to reach. I may have to come back during the day marking this bush and see if he's come down to the lower leaves to eat. Now this is a total gamble because these guys can really fly and they actually spend most of their time in the tops of trees. So I'm looking, if it's here, I'll see it. But all we've got to go off of is that we heard the Katie did calling from this tree. Nothing. Either his camouflage is too good or he didn't come down for the day, which means it's back to the drawing board to find our Katie did. That night, I heard Katie did calls coming from the same bush again. I'm gonna try it one more time, head out during the day, and see if I can find our Katie did. Now that, it's, now that the sun's out, I'm checking it out. I wanna see if I can find the Katie did we heard calling from it. All right, can you see that? Right there. I see antenna sticking up. Yep, yep, you're starting to move. That, is that a male? If it's a male, it's Arcadia, and I think it is. Okay, I'm gonna need to act quick to grab him before he takes off. Oh, yep, he's, he's got the idea. Hey, yeah, buddy. Look at that. Oh, he's got a grip, man. He's got a grip on that leaf. Come here, buddy. You're okay. I'm just gonna borrow a few minutes of your time, all right? Look at you. This is a true Katie did, and they are unbelievably camouflaged and unbelievably weird looking. A lot of the other species of Katie did we get out here, a lot of the bush Katie dids and angle winged Katie dids, they look a little bit more garden variety grasshoppery, but these guys look absolutely alien and they will bite, so you gotta be careful. Uh, but, but fortunately they are not venomous or anything. Uh, you're in no danger. If one of these guys bites you, you're just going to have a little bit of a pinch. Now have a look at his wings. One of the easiest ways to tell a male cricket or katydid is to see if they have this ridge where their wings meet. And in the case of the katydid, 
This is how they get their name. They use these ridges to produce their incredible sounds. And in the case of the true Katie did, let's listen to its call one more time. Do you hear that three syllable tone? Some people who hear that call can swear that this sounds as if the Katie did is saying, Katie did, Katie didn't. And as silly as that may be, that is where the Katie did gets its name. All right, buddy, back on your tree. Thanks for hanging out with us. What an absolutely incredible encounter. I love finding Katydids in my backyard, especially tougher to find species like the true Katie did. If you like awesome backyard insect encounters, check out the playlist on your screen. I hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.